Yo guys, what's going on? This is Tim. This is the Cash Kelly and AC Sports Report. I want to let you guys know that this Monday through Friday, I am taking the week off. Uh, Fernando, Thomas, AC, Cookie, KJ, the whole crew. Um, I'm missing somebody. Apologize to that person. We'll be uh, holding it down for the, this week, getting it done Monday through Friday. I've been at this for a year straight without a break, so I figured I've kind of earned something and... There's nothing huge going on. This video is just basically giving you the NFL players that we have interviewed, their thoughts on the NFL lockout. So I know you want to hear that, not me. So here you go. Off, uh, with the NFL lockout, what is going on? It just seemed all weird. Do you have any idea more than we do what's going on? I really don't, man. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm one of those trying to figure out what's going on myself. I get texts every now and then, just give little follow-ups and where they at as far as mediation and negotiation rise, but I really don't know the full insight of what's really, really going on. But from the look of things and the sound of things right now, I mean, football is, is heading the, re the right direction for this year. Yo, what's up? Nothing. Happy to have you on the show. Um, we just got okay. a few questions for you here. I'm basically doing this off the top of my head, but First off, what do you think about the NFL lockout? Uh, well, I mean, it's, a sad, it's, it's really, I mean, it sucks, but at the same time, it's businesses, you know, everybody, it's a business for everybody, so you can't tell somebody they can't lock the doors on their employees, but at the same time, I mean, we'd love to be back playing, and, you know, in due time. Do you know when you think that you have, like, predicted time or week or when you think it's, you're gonna get uh, back. Not really. I mean, the same thing. The same things that y'all hear on Sports Center is the same exact things that we hear. So, as far as have a prediction, no, nah, we don't. I mean, I wish I did know, you know, because then I I do over and under and probably go to Vegas or something and bet on it. But uh, you know, we hear the same things y'all hear. Would an eight game season that's something they're talking about? Do you think that would be worth having? Yeah, I mean, football period is worth having. If it's eight games, eight games, and I play it regardless. I mean, it's, you know, this game is, is a game we love. So I think if it was eight games, y'all would still watch the eight-game season, and we will still play eight-game season. So right now, we just want to play football. Either way, eight games, four games, two games, no matter what, we just want to play. We got one more question for you. Sorry, um, what, what do you think about having two more games this season? Is that good, bad? What are your opinions on that? Two more games, what, eight? No, that's too many. The first question I guess I'd like to ask you, um, kind of what we're talking about right now before you called in, was um, what are you thinking about the NFL? Who do you think has the uh, who do you think has the leverage in the meeting room? Would you say the owners because they pay the players, or would you say the players because they play for the owners? Well, I, I think inside the meeting room, um, you know, there really isn't so much battle for leverage. Uh, I, I think the battle for leverage is. Is, is obviously trying to win the you know the fans, win the people that are you know have an emotional attachment to the game of football, which is you know pretty much everybody in the United States. And the owners try to spin their message, you know, kind of their little web of lies, you know, to try and uh, undermine us. And you know they've tried, but thankfully because of you know radio shows like this and uh, multimedia, we've been able to get the truth out there. NFL. Besides the strike next season, is the 18 game season. As a player. As a fan, I'm against it because I think it would be horrible on the players. What's your thought? I mean, it's, it's, it's no real, it really doesn't make any sense to me to have two more games. It's like, um, you already see how bad people's bodies are banged up by the time it gets to week 16, so why would you add two more games? To yeah, I mean, I, I just don't, I think if it isn't. I mean, it was 15 before you added one, but now you want to go for two more, so that's, you know, a little much. And then, I mean, are they going to cut back on the preseason games? Yeah, and I, I think if it isn't broke, don't fix it. Donald Fowles in a great state right now. Exactly. I think it should definitely, definitely be the, the, state, the way it is. You know I mean? If anything, that's going to shorten the off season, which is the recovery time for people to get back um, healthy. Talking to Lorenzo Neal, former fullback in the NFL. What are your thoughts on the NFL lockout, Lorenzo? Well, I'm glad when this thing gets over. I think it's football is I think it's sports itself. If you watch sports, uh, Think about, you know, if, if you go back and just be a historian and, and really watch sports with Johnny Unitas and, you know, the the uh, you know the Tom Landrys as coaches and, 
all the the art shells and players, and you really just you know you you go back and and watch what sports has done for this country. And I don't even know about this country, just the world. Uh, when in the '60s and '40s, you know, blacks weren't able to play ball. They they weren't able to play. You know, you have the Jackie Robinson and baseball and all these different uh, things that happen through our culture and through our history that makes us a better country. And I think when you watch, what was one of the things that united this country and united, you know, unites people? Sports. I think sports is one of the only purest games that you can have. Different races and different cultures can come together and get to play together and unite together. So I think that sports, what it's done for just the country and our kids and our youth and who we are, our whole being to, you know, as, 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 a, as a country, the universe is, I think, has so much to do with sports. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Justin for Big League Interviews. We have a great honor to have Armani Edwards of the Carolina Panthers, and we also have Tim from the Cash Kelly and AC Sports Report. Uh, what do you think of the NFL lockout right now? Now it is, it, uh, it sucks, you know, but we understand it's a business. Um, but I don't think we're uh, we're getting at a, at a point right now where we want to be able to get back to work. Just in general, what is your thought on the NFL lockout? Um, I always, I said from the beginning that I think it'll take uh, into training camp, you know, it'll make those guys start missing practices and the season starts closing in. And, you know, because I don't think that the owners and the players don't want to miss any games. Everyone wants to play, but with this much time right now, um, it's hard to leverage either side enough to, to give in. So I think once training camp starts and you start getting close to those freezing games, I think we'll see something happen. Yeah, I agree. All right, and uh, another question. Will there be an NFL season next year? Like, definitely, what's your opinion on that? I think there will be. You know, this is too much money. You know, the NFL, uh, everyone likes to think that it's about the football, but to be honest, it's a business just like anything else, and there's way too much money at stake for them not to play. I mean, I know it's happened before, but they weren't making the kind of money then that they're making now with TV and uh, endorsements and just everything. So I, I think there definitely will be a season. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if the lockout ended a week or days before the first game was supposed to start. Like, I think it'll definitely affect um, this season going forward. Yeah, I can. Hey, guys, what's up? I'm Justin for Big League Interviews. I'm here with Baltimore Ravens, former Baltimore Ravens star wide receiver, Mark Clayton, current St. Louis Rams wide receiver. I'm also here with Tim from the Cash Kelly and AC Sports Report. Um... We've asked a, a couple of players about their idea on the NFL lockout. What is your idea on the NFL lockout? My idea is that the owners are right and the players are right, and everybody just wants to maximize their investment. Um, ultimately, it's going to take somebody um, being generous and gracious um, and kind of, uh, you know, bending a little bit. Uh, to get an agreement to get things done. But, you know, as I said, if I'm an investor, I want to maximize what I'm investing in as a player. I'm investing my body, so, you know, I, I would want the, the greatest return from that. Um, but, you know, I've been in seven years, or going on seven now, and it's, you know, I, I, I hate it for the young guys, definitely. Uh, I hate it that, you know, we can't do what we need to be doing as a, as a team, as a unit, to, you know, really get better. You know, I'm especially offensively, we have a new offense with, you know, uh, Day coming in. Um, there's things that we are missing, and, you know, we'll probably hurt us, but I, I know we'll, we'll be okay, and I'll be fine for it. All right, so a guy you heard in a lot of those videos was Justin. At that time, he's with Big League Interviews. Now he's with Sports News Insider. Look up that channel. I mean, Justin, how, how crazy was it to, A, get all these interviews, and, B, have them answer these questions about the NFL lockout? You know, it was a great time. I mean, personally, my favorite interview was with Mark Clayton. Um, with all getting all these interviews, it's just pretty fun because – what we do is, like, we ask for interviews, and pretty much you don't know who we'll get. It'll be surprising if we got one day maybe 
Tom Brady or somebody like that in the future, but that we're talking way in the future. Yeah, we're we're talking way in the future for that one. Yeah. But it, it's it's not a prom to dream about something. I think it's been a great time having these interviews, and I mean, a, a lot of people. I think uh, this is just me guessing, but I think a lot of you probably think, "Oh, here's an interview, and I know what the first question's going to be. What's your thought on the NFL lockout?" But it's what people want to hear about right now. I mean. For me, th now there's two lockouts going on, which really sucks. But th this is the first time in my lifetime that there's been an NFL, NBA, MLB, anything lockout. So, you know, I don't want to say it's cool, but it it's kind of neat to see. And I think, what Justin, when do you believe this is going to be over? The NFL lockout. I mean, the biggest lockout right now. Watching NFL Network, a lot of the analysts say that's gonna end July fifteenth, and I'm obviously gonna I'm gonna go with. It. I think it's gonna end July fifteenth. Yeah, I mean, we we know someone on Facebook who thinks he's like the next greatest reporter who who has told us it's gonna end this week like three different times, and he's been wrong, and he still won't admit it. Ha ha, in your face, man. And I think most of you guys know who we're talking about. If not. Watch some of our past videos on this topic, and I think you'll have a pretty good idea. But I think that uh, it's going to end between July 10th and July 20th. That's case one. That's what I've heard from guys like Sal Palantonio from ESPN. If not, we may be in for some legit lockout, which is what I always said from the beginning. I thought they'd miss one or two games. But thinking about it now... If you're going to miss one or two games, you're probably going to end up missing four or five because you're going to have to have free agency in there and you're going to have to have some sort of training camp. So this is not going to be a quick thing, and I I don't think it's getting any closer. I, I had that sense a few weeks ago that they are getting pretty close, but it, it's kind of died down. It's like at the beginning of every week they say, oh, well, we're, we're getting there, we're making progress, and at the end of the week it seems like they regress and they say, okay, we'll meet again next week. Justin, don't you kind of get that feeling? Yeah, I mean, they'll, they'll report that saying, oh, progress has been made, and then everything will go on from there, and like, they'll move to the next city to talk there. I mean, well, I don't understand why they cannot just stay in one city and just talk about it there, except freaking traveling the globe just to find a place just to talk about the lockout. I mean, seriously, just stay in one goddamn place and just get this thing over with so we have football on the right time, I mean, just seriously, let's just get this lockout done and over with. Man, Justin's a legit NFL fan. I'm a legit NFL fan. Everyone who's been in, who asked questions in this video, from KJ to Fernando to AC to Cookie, everyone out there basically feels the exact same way. We just want to see the football. And you know what? The owners and the players are holding it back from that. Get it done. We want to see it. We'll see you guys later.